The Fall from Grace Philip Schofield and the Shadow of Scandal He was the king of daytime TV, smiling, affable, a fixture in our homes. Philip Schofield, with his boyish charm and easy rapport with Holly Willoughby, seemed untouchable. Then came the crash, the rumours, the hushed whispers that turned into a storm. Schofield, it was revealed, had engaged in an affair with a much younger colleague. The public felt betrayed. This wasn't just a celebrity gossip rag scandal. It felt personal. Schofield's carefully constructed world crumbled. He stepped down from this morning, his reputation in tatters. The fallout was swift and brutal. Brands cut ties. Friends distanced themselves. The man who once radiated sunshine now seemed shrouded in darkness. What would become of Philip Schofield? Could he ever return from this? Enter Philip Schofield. Cast away. A new reality show. A chance at redemption. A journey into the unknown. The premise is simple and yet so loaded with symbolism. Schofield, stripped of his usual comforts and the veneer of celebrity, is left alone on a deserted island. He must fend for himself, confront his demons, and somehow find a way to survive. The island becomes a metaphor for his life. The isolation, the harsh realities, the constant battle against the elements, all mirror the turmoil within. As he builds a fire, finds food and navigates the challenges of his new environment, we see glimpses of the man beneath the scandal. Is this a publicity stunt? A cynical attempt to rehabilitate a tarnished image? Or is it something more genuine? The cameras don't shy away from the tough questions. Sitting by the flickering flames of his campfire, Schofield speaks candidly about the affair he acknowledges his mistakes, the hurt he caused, the damage he inflicted. There are tears, moments of self-recrimination, a palpable sense of regret. But there's also defiance. A flicker of the old Schofield charm as he talks about wanting to move on, about proving himself. He talks about the importance of family, the friends who stood by him, the unwavering support of his daughters, he speaks of the need to forgive himself, to learn from his mistakes, and to emerge from this experience a better man. But can words alone erase the past? Can a few weeks on a desert island truly atone for years of deceit? The themes of Philip Schofield cast away are hardly new. From Robinson Crusoe to Tom Hanks's iconic performance in Cast Away, the idea of a man stranded, forced to confront his own mortality and the fragility of his existence, has resonated for centuries. Schofield's experience, while undeniably unique, echoes these classic tales. The isolation, the struggle for survival, the internal battle against despair, these are universal themes that speak to the human condition. We watch, fascinated, as he grapples with loneliness, fear, and the daunting task of rebuilding his life from scratch. But unlike Crusoe, Schofield isn't alone in his exile. He's followed by the ever-present cameras, broadcasting his every move, his every tear, to a public eager to judge. Section 5. The Court of Public Opinion. Forgiveness. Backlash and the price of fame. The public reaction to Philip Schofield cast away has been predictably divided. Some viewers are sympathetic, seeing a man genuinely trying to atone for his mistakes. They applaud his honesty, his vulnerability, his willingness to face the consequences of his actions. Others are less forgiving. They see the show as a cynical attempt to manipulate public opinion a calculated move to resurrect a career built on lies. Social media is abuzz with criticism, 
with accusations of insincerity and a lack of genuine remorse. Schofield's tears, they argue, are those of a man who got caught, not a man truly sorry for the pain he inflicted. The court of public opinion is a fickle one, and the verdict on Philip Schofield is still out. Section 6 Can you ever outrun your past? The stain of scandal in the public eye. The question at the heart of Schofield's comeback isn't just about survival on a remote island. It's about surviving the court of public opinion. It's about whether a public figure, once fallen from grace, can ever truly redeem themselves. We live in an age of instant judgment, where every transgression is amplified and dissected on social media. Forgiveness, it seems, is a rare commodity, especially for those in the public eye. Schofield's story taps into a broader cultural conversation about accountability, forgiveness, and the indelible mark of scandal. Can we separate the art from the artist? Can we forgive a flawed individual while still condemning their actions? Section 7. Survival of the Repentant Schofield's Gamble for Redemption whether Philip Schofield? Cast Away is a genuine attempt at redemption or a calculated career move. One thing is undeniable. It's a compelling watch. We're drawn to stories of survival, of second chances, of the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. Schofield's journey, however flawed, resonates with that innate human desire to see someone rise from the ashes. We want to believe in redemption, in the possibility of change. And so we watch, with a mixture of curiosity, scepticism, and perhaps a flicker of hope. But can Schofield truly survive this? Can he navigate the treacherous waters of public opinion and emerge from this experience stronger, wiser, and ultimately forgiven? The island. A tentative return and an uncertain future. As the final credits roll on Philip Schofield, cast away, one question lingers. What now? Will this be enough to salvage his career? Will the public welcome him back with open arms or will he forever be haunted by the ghost of scandal? Only time will tell. Schofield's journey is far from over. He has taken the first tentative steps on a long and arduous road to redemption. But the real test will be whether he can sustain the lessons learned on that island, whether he can rebuild the trust he so carelessly shattered. The world is watching, waiting to see if Philip Schofield can truly come back from the brink.